What's up, people, and welcome back to another exciting episode of my Free to Play 2 Max, where I gradually bring a fresh account all the way to uh, Max members. And in this episode, guys, I am going to be finishing off the last remaining Free to Play quest. I have about eight to go, and I'm going to go ahead and start with Goblins. Diplomacy, a really easy one. If you guys go ahead and get your materials from the Grand Exchange, and I'll meet you guys over at the Goblin Place. I just want to point out, guys, this little cutscene is so funny. I love it on how the goblins are arguing which goblin male is better. It's just a classic quest, and I gotta say, guys, this this quest, goblins. Diplomacy is free to play gold, and I hope you guys can all agree on me with that. Like, just look at them just arguing over the armor <laughs> from blue to red to regular. That's kind of funny, guys. And it does really help if you guys have all everything done, so you guys don't need to make any extra trips to the Grand Exchange or something. Yes, we did Goblin. Diplomacy, five quest points. I didn't even know, notice it was that much of a quest point helper, but that was really awesome, guys. And also, we got a gold bar. I'm not really too cr crazy about the item reward. Well, we got 200 crafting, which brings us to level five crafting, which is pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, everybody, goblins, diplomacy is now complete. Now it is time for the Prince Alley Rescue. Alright, it's time to start Prince Alley Rescue. I just want to say once again, I cannot stress on how much it helps if you have all the items in the beginning. That way you guys don't have to go backtrack and get them from the GE. So basically just use your room light and go to the quest and see what you need in the item requirements and you're good to go guys it's that simple now let's go get this quest knocked out of the park all right guys we made it back to hasten and let's go return our quest in and there we go guys pretty easy quest but i highly recommend this to anyone who is starting a new free-to-play account because it gives you free access to the desert while you're in Lumbridge and also you don't have to pay the 10 GP fee which is kind of annoying so you don't have to kill the goblins on the ground but now we are at a total of 28 quest points which also gave us three quest points as well so that's pretty nice and we got access to use the toll so we don't have to use that anymore so that's pretty awesome guys so not a bad quest all around all right Alright, it is time to start Below Ice Mountain. I just want to point out, it's kind of funny that I have the bread from Tutorial Island and I'm going to actually use it for another quest. I just want to point that out. But anyways, enough of that. It is time to start Below Ice Mountain. I am going to be doing the rest of these quests, which I'm pretty excited to knock out. But anyways, let's go do that now that we have all the requirements that we need for Below Ice Mountain. Oh no, guys, it looks like we're about to fight. Let's see what happens. Okay, we are about to fight an ancient guardian of level 25 nonetheless. I should be above leveled, so I'm not really too worried about it. I'm not even going to bring any food to this fight. But let's do this, guys. Below Ice Mountain, I can't even tell you how many times I have done this quest, but let's do it. Oh yeah guys, I am just rocking on him. <laughs> Not a chance, Ancient Guardian. And he's down. And there we go everybody, below Ice Mountain complete. We got one quest point, 2,000 GP, and access to the ruins of Camdozel. 
I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but we are now at a total level of 29 quest points, which is pretty awesome, and um, probably going to be doing the course air curse i think that's how you pronounce it but yeah guys i am going to be doing the rest of these free to play quests and then i'm going to save the dragon slayer probably for next episode so just fyi all right guys it's time to talk to captain tuck let's do this all right let's do this okay okay Start the Corsair Curse quest? Yes, we should, guys. Because I want those quest points. Alright, it looks like we're going to go to Port Serum. This beautiful cutscene, okay. Now we got to go... To Port Remington. I didn't even know Port Remington had a port, but anyways, let's go. All right, now we're doing a little bit of a fighting. Got to kill it though. I think that's how it pronounced his name. But anyways, here we go. Looks like he is doing some splash damage on me. I should have been food, but I think we should be okay. I don't think I'm gonna get hit too hard here. He only has 22 hit points left, so I should kill him no problem. Oh, we hit a 7, that's pretty nice. And a 6. And a 4. And one more big hit should finish him off. And there we go. This is actually relatively a long quest, guys. I'm going to be honest. For being a short quest, this one was actually relatively kind of long, guys. I'll be honest with you all. But here we go, guys. We have completed the Course Air Curse. You were awarded two quest points and a Course Air Cover Bank access. I didn't even know they had a bank on this island. That just goes to show, guys, I am still learning to this day. But anyways, guys, almost... 32 quest points, enough to do Demon Slayer, or I shouldn't say in this case, I meant to say Dragon Slayer, but I am going to be doing Demon Slayer right now, and Ernest the Chicken, and then I still got the Knight's Sword, and Pirate's Treasure, so I still got a few more to go. I'm going to go ahead and knock out some others. I'm probably going to do Ernest the Chicken right now, get the Draenor Manor out of the way. I'm tired of going back there, but anyways guys, awesome sauce. Let's go get this done. Ernest the chicken is done! Holy crap! I didn't even notice on how many quest points this actually gave us. But anyways guys, we got 300 coins, which is pretty cool. And another quest done, which leaves us four quests to do left. And I think I'm going to go ahead and knock out some Demon Slayer, guys. That's just what I'm kind of thinking right now. But yeah, not bad guys. Now I'm completely done with the Drainer Manor. Alright guys, we are now about to fight the demon Delrith. I think that's how you pronounce it, but let's go. We have Silverlight equipped it. You know what? Can I, can I use my moon on him? Alright guys doing this last part of Demon Slayer quest and it's indeed demon gonna get sucked in <laughs> all right guys Demon Slayer complete not too bad at all if I should say three quest points which is pretty awesome Silver Light which kind of sucks I'm gonna be completely honest about that guys but anyways now a total level of quest points I should say 38 now I just gotta do the Night Sword um, Mythlanian Mystery and Pirate's Treasure, guys. Let's go to the next quest. And we did it, everybody. We got another quest done. We got the Pirate's Treasure quest. I didn't even notice, but this also gave us two quest points, guys. That's pretty radical in my own opinion. Let's go ahead and open the casket. A gold ring. <laughs> That's kind of sucky, but it is what it is. Now it is time to do the knight's sword guys actually i'm pretty 
much excited because we are almost done with all the free-to-play quests, guys. And on top of that, I'm going to probably be saving Dragon Slayer for another episode. I hope I didn't already mention that, but if I did, I'm sorry. But yeah, guys, we're going to go knock out the Knight's Sword. We're almost there, guys. I don't know what it was about the Knight's Sword, but I don't remember it being this much of a walk fest, but it was. But here we are, the last part of the Knight Sword, guys. Here we go. All right, that was actually a nice little reward. We are now 29 smithing. I'll take it. And honestly, everybody, that was pretty awesome. We are now one quest away from completing all of them besides Dragon Slayer. I cannot believe it. We are already here. With that being said, everybody, let's go and get this other quest done. All right, now we're fighting Abigail. We're going to equip the killer's knife. Come on, Abigail. Time for you to die. All right. Getting some cutscenes here. Almost done with the quest. Oh snap guys. Abigail is trying to come back. And here is Mandy with a god sword. Oh snap. This mystery quest is actually kind of fun. A little bit tedious, but it's not a bad one. Alright. That should be the end of it. That'd be pretty cool now that we have all of the free-to-play quests done besides Dragon Slayer. Alright, let's see that reward, guys. <laughs> awesome. I don't know why we got crafting XP, but we did. We are now at a total of 42 quest points, and that is the end of the questing grind guys hope you guys enjoyed it with that being said everybody this does conclude episode five of the series with that being all said everybody um if you guys enjoyed it the episode please subscribe if you guys want to see me fight the dragon in our next episode with that being all said and done as always everybody my name is Grim, and i'll catch you guys next time